Hello, welcome to our next lesson in Flight Dynamics and Control. Today we're going to do something a little different today. Uh, instead of deriving equations and doing a bunch of mathematics, uh, we're going to look at some wind tunnel data. So, I took a little airplane, mini ultra stick, so I'll show you a picture. Took this airplane right here and we shoved it into a wind tunnel and we recorded, or I recorded the results and I got it into this uh, little matrix file. I'll actually upload it right after this. So. And what, we're going to go ahead and uh, turn it into graphs and kind of look at what this data means and how it looks when you graph it. And then from there, we'll actually look at the static stability or the longitudinal stability of this specific aircraft. Uh, after we're done with this or concurrently, we'll actually derive the equations to show you the stability and actually show that th these graphs are what is used in the equations and we'll actually determine what the static stability is and how where, where the center of gravity needs to be and so on before the airplane actually fails and falls out of the sky. So, first up, first of all, I will upload this file. It's uh, windtunneldata.mat. Uh, just in your MATLAB file, just make sure you browse to the folder. Mine's in uh, C slash FDC. So, you put this little guy in that folder and then all you do is you just double click it. And if you notice right over here, it made two uh, variables. It made data matrix and HDR. Uh, let's take a look at uh, data matrix. So there it is. There's a ton of uh, information. This is the raw data from the wind tunnel that I got. So it doesn't shouldn't make any sense right now, but it's there. And then this next one is called HDR. It's just a structure. This structure tells us, or it tells you exactly what is in this data matrix. So, for example, this goes row, angle of attack, elevator, rudder. Those actually correspond. Let's ah, let me close that. That actually corresponds to you know row, angle of attack, rudder, or maybe yeah, row, angle of attack, rudder, elevator, and so on. So it's just it's a structure. So you don't actually have to refer to things by row and whatnot. You can actually just kind of refer to them by these guys over here. So let's uh, actually begin deriving and actually using these things. So what we want to do is we want to open up a new script or open up our editor file and for those of you who don't know MATLAB it's time to learn. So first thing you probably want to do is we want to go ahead and close everything. So we'll just begin by closing all and CLC that'll just clear everything. So if you run it multiple times you will end up with like 8,000 figures open at once. So I guess the next thing you want to do is that we actually instead of like referring to things by uh, if we look at this data matrix it doesn't look very pretty to use we want to actually go ahead and start defining variables to these things so we don't have to keep calling it by data matrix row one or data matrix column one I should say. So we'll go ahead and just call angle of attack so angle of attack well equal to this data matrix and data matrix is a giant 85 by 11 array it's a pretty big array so it's equal the angle of attack is equal to uh, let's just look in our HDR file here it is it's actually equal to the second it's equal to the second column in our oh where did it go there it is. It's equal to the second column in this data matrix. So in order to call that, we'll just do colon, and then we'll do hdr dot, and then if a nifty little shortcut key is if you push tab, this little thing comes up right here. So this is just this, what's in the structure. So we'll just push angle of attack. And actually the angle of attack, or AOA, that's just two, which when you actually put it in this data matrix it'll just replace it with colon 2 so it's just a it's just a way so you actually see it and not a number you actually see angle of attack so that is that I will just go ahead and save this real quick uh, what should I call it uh, oh mini ultra stick wind tunnel probably overly long or too long so I'll just go ahead and run this and prove to you that this is what it actually does so there we go. Notice how I got rid of this colon to suppress it. So the actual outputs of this are right here. So if you want to actually count these, these are I think it's you know 85 columns with angle of attacks. 
So let's open up our data matrix. Sure enough, there we go. We see this column right here is identical to what was outputted in MATLAB. So now that you believe me that that's what it does, we'll just go ahead and start uh, doing it to the rest of these variables. So let's go back to our editor. We'll bring that up into focus over here. So next one we probably want to do is we want to define our our forces on the thing, on the thing. Um, actually, let me just quickly before I move on. Uh, these values they are recorded from what's called the sting in the uh, wind tunnel. What the sting does is the sting has you know it records moments, forces, and so on on in this on the it's just, the aircraft is acting on the sting I should say and then in addition the wind tunnel also records the air density the velocity and all those other good things actually everything it records is in the structure so this is what the sting looks like this is not the mini ultra stick but I don't know if you can see the my mouse movement but you see there's a giant rod coming out and connecting to the aircraft so this is the thing that actually records all the data every time you push collect data on the wind tunnel computer so that's what that is. So the uh, sting it records it records the uh, forces. It records both axial and normal force. So the axial force we'll just call X. So and since it's the sting actually records in the negative direction of what it is. So it was actually just a negative data matrix, or at least the wind tunnel I use. That's how it records it. So we'll just kind of copy how we did angle of attack. So HDR dot tab, and then we can just go to F axial. That's super convenient that it does it. And then we'll suppress this output as well. So now next we'll do the, the Z component. This is the normal force. Remember Z component on aircraft points in the downward direction. So once again, that is the negative data matrix. Whoops, capital caps lock, data matrix colon, comma, HDR, ah, stupid Kevlux. And then we'll go to F normal. So there we go. We got our angle of attack, normal, and axial forces all defined. So let's start actually doing some aerodynamic stuff. So the lift, what is the lift? Well, the lift on the aircraft is just if you actually if you look at the sting as the sting increases in its angle of attack the the stings increasing in the angle of attack and the lift will be the normal component of the aircraft so since the angle of attack is changing we actually have to take the component forms of the lift in order to get the total lift on the aircraft so we can write the stupid caps locks it always comes on my bad so it's the the lift is going to be the axial or yeah axial it'll be the axial component times sine so we want that actually in degrees because that's how uh, we recorded it so in MATLAB sine D is how you get uh, the degrees so we'll input the degrees that's actually going to be the angle of attack so now we got the vertical component of the axial force and then we have to subtract out the normal component of force. We want angle of attack as well. So there we go, that's our lift force. And then likewise, the uh, drag force on the aircraft is just going to be the other components. So it'll be the, instead of sine, it'll be cosine, instead of cosine, it'll be sine. But once again, uh, we need this, the x cosine or the x yeah it will be x cosine that part needs to be negative as well so it's just basically we're just doing a coordinate tra a coordinate transformation so that'll be negative x dot cosine d aoa minus z dot times times sine d aoa and it looks like I actually forgot my multiplication signs in here, so it wouldn't actually work. <laughs>